हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉजिक मेडिको टुडे इज इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन इज ओकेलिस मजल इज वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग मजल ऑफ द लारिंग सो बिफोर गोइंग फर्दर आई वुड लाइक यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन फॉर द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग ओकेलिस मजल द लोकेशन एज द नेम सजेस्ट ओकेलिस शुड बी विद इन दिस shelf like projection so what are the shelf like projection they are called as vocal cords so within that there will be ocalis in the free margin of the vocal cord we can see this is a supraglottic region this is the epiglottic area this is the arytenoid cartilages we can make out through the mucous membrane beautifully arytenoid cartilages these are the vocal ligaments white color area it is lined by stratified squamous epithelium therefore it appears white in color this cave like area you can see no this is interesting point this is a ventricle or the sinus of the larynx it is a rich amount of mucus you can see the glaring of this or the flash light is there here no? that's because of rich amount of mucus which lubricates this vocal cord so within this vocal cord there is a thin strand of muscle which called as ocalis so it will be like this so vocal cord the free margin contains vocal ligament this few fibers of thyroarytenoid is ocalis so interesting fact about the ocalis is that this ocalis is nothing but the detached part of this muscle the medial detached part of thyroarytenoid muscle you can see one of my video on thyroarytenoid you will understand that better than okay ocalis muscle is a detached part of thyroarytenoid muscle but when compared to the thyroarytenoid these muscle fibers are more delicate and more intricate in their action so the detached part of this muscle the medial most fibers within the vocal cord will be called as ocalis the origin of this ocalis see kindly note this green color stuff this is also muscle only but intentionally it shown green color so that you can understand this is thyroarytenoid muscle origin inner surface of thyroid angle in anterior lateral surface of arytenoid cartilage whereas this is ocalis can you see this brown color here just next to the vocal ligament the medial most part is tiny delicate fibers if yes then that is ocalis so the origin of ocalis is from arytenoid cartilage that is a vocal process of arytenoid cartilage it runs anteriorly and slightly medially to reach the thyroid angle also few fibers are attached to this ligament called as vocal ligament i repeat origin is vocal process of arytenoid cartilage fibers run anteriorly and slightly medially to reach the thyroid angle few of the fibers are also inserted to the vocal ligament that is the insertion the movements in the vocal cord include when both the vocal cords move away from the midline it's called abduction of vocal cord when vocal cord move towards one another it's called adduction of the vocal cord but since this muscle called ocalis is present within the vocal cord it cannot move it outwards nor move it inwards like this abduction adduction is not the action of ocalis then alteration in the tension within the vocal cord will be the action of ocalis so the ocalis can either stretch the vocal cord like this or it can relax like this so what can be the action can you think it is within the vocal cord we will look so here you can see the tensed vocal cord this is for your understanding here you can see you can see the waviness in the vocal cord that is relaxed vocal cord but what is the action of this ocalis it's within the vocal cord so will it tense it or will it relax this is tensed vocal cord stretched and shiny and glistening this is relaxed if you are told it relaxes the vocal cord it causes slackening of the vocal cord then you are told the correct answer so ocalis along with thyroarytenoid muscle is a relaxer of the vocal cord though we call relaxer of the vocal cord it doesn't relax the entire vocal cord it tenses the anterior part but relaxes the posterior part that is due to the unique attachment of the ocalis wherein anteriorly it is it is attached to the thyroid angle it will get tensed that portion where it is attached to the vocal ligament that portion gets relaxed so it is like 50 50 anterior portion tensed posterior half of the vocal cord will be relaxed overall action will be relaxation nothing to worry about that like thyroarytenoid even ocalis causes relaxation of of vocal cord one of the nerve supply 
Vegas nerve or the tenth cranial nerve supplies even the ocalis. There are two branches for vagus nerve, superior and recurrent laryngeal nerve. It's called recurrent laryngeal nerve because it goes into the thorax and then winds around like a U. So on the left side it hooks around the arch of the aorta, on the right side it hooks around the subclavian artery. So a recurrent laryngeal nerve supplies the ocalis. So you can see this recurrent laryngeal nerve coming here. If at all there is a thyroid gland enlargement, goiter or tumor in this trachea or esophagus, it compresses the recurrent laryngeal nerve. That time there is paralysis of all the muscles of larynx except this muscle, cricothyroid, supplied by external laryngeal nerve. So now supply of ocalis is also recurrent laryngeal nerve. Okay, it's a branch of vagus nerve or tenth cranial nerve. Kindly like and share my video. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button. Like this video, kindly press the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell button. And kindly ask your doubt in the comment section so that I can solve your doubts. Thank you once again for watching.